Okay, I'm just going to show you the mathematics for the fermentation run to make fuel alcohol I'm about to do today. We're going to use the Jeff Bloom recipe, which is 4.5 kilograms being 10 pounds of sugar. So multiply that by the cost of the sugar, which is 0 0.85, which equals 3 pound 82 and a half. Okay, uh, to that we're then going to add the cost of the yeast, which is 0 0.89, okay, which is £4.715. That's if I use all the yeast. I don't think I'm going to use all the yeast. I think we're going to use half the yeast. So I'm making a very pessimistic uh, financial assessment here. To that, because uh, this time I'm going to use clearing agents, I'm going to add to that the cost of the clearing agents, open brackets, one 0.25 multiplied by 1.2 to take into account VAT close brackets 1 pound 50 equals 6 pounds and 21 pence and a half a pence which is going to make me three and a half liters of ethanol taking into account you know chip par obviously if that's three liters of alcohol it's um, a little over two pounds per liter and if it's three and a half, it'll be a little less. So divide that by 3.5. So that's one pound 77. Okay, which is cheaper than you can buy bioethanol by the liter than anywhere I've seen online. Uh, so if we can get three and a half liters out of the run, then we're doing very well. Just going to show you a couple of other things as well. Uh, what you see before you are more sort of fuel briquettes, which I've made out of papier mache. Mush them up much more, and they're all going to dry on the windowsill until they're good and ready, so I can use them for cooking later on in the summer. It's very bright and sunny outside, so essentially that's a good omen for things working out well. And I bought myself this from the 99p shop. This is rather a lot of. Um, kind of like a metal mesh which is used in gardens and will be ideal for making pot stands for stoves. So all very cheap, all very good. I know, talk about bathtub gin. <laughs> this is the bathtub and I'm sterilizing some of the equipment, sluicing that stuff around, kill off all the germs. Remember we're heading for uh, an alcohol purity of 85% uh, by volume being 170 proof I think you guys would call it in America and then that's gonna burn like crazy and it's gonna be good okay that's that's the wash all made up uh, to cut costs down I'm just gonna use half the pack of yeast not the whole pack and then if this recipe works great if it doesn't it doesn't that's all there is to it basically but I'm going to try and cut the cost down as much as I can. Okay, there we go. Now it's all in there. It's safe. It's fermenting. If this works nicely, then it's good. If it, if it doesn't work nicely, then it isn't good.